Welcome to my Golden Games and Happy New Year! That's right, it is 2020. We are moving into the 20s, boys. That's right, three-piece suits, cigars, champagne, Coca-Cola with the original Coke formula. What? Anyways, I hope you guys had a great New Year's. It is, like I said, January 1st. 2020 so seriously let me know down in the comments below what you guys did for new year's i went over to a friend's house hung out with a few people had a few drinks not too many because i did have to drive home but i had a great time last night if you look at the t-shirt i'm wearing right now this is actually real life merch that you can get if you want to check it out in the description below or if you want to enter for a chance to win it for free again link in the description below and just follow the rules to enter the giveaway uh, the giveaway ends January 10th, so you still have about 10 days to go, 9 or 10 days. Uh, so anyways, let's get on to it. Like I said, it is 2020. All right, let's go get dressed now. Like I said, it is the 20s now, so that means we need to get dressed in a nice snazzy suit. Ugh, I am feeling so dapper right now. Again, I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. If you do, hit that like button. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already as well. That really does help me out when you hit that like button. So anyways, let's get downstairs here. Uh, we are not going to be partying with our girlfriend today. She's actually out of town right now. So we are going... We do have a few things planned for New Year's Day. Or, uh, you know, January 1st. So let's see. We need to go down to my gun room. Right in here. And let's load up on guns. We are going to be doing some shooting today. Uh, before that, I actually have a new vehicle we're going to be picking up. So I hope you guys do enjoy the new vehicle we're going to be getting. Let me get all this stuff sorted out here and get it in my duffel bag. And then we'll hit the road. All right, boys. I am all geared up and ready to go. Got my rifles and stuff in the bag here. We're going to have a freaking awesome day of shooting. Uh, but again, that comes in a little bit. We have a few things planned before that. First thing off, we're going to go to Simeon's. Pick up the new vehicle, test out the new vehicle's capabilities, and then we're going to go down to a pretty awesome car meet. I do have a friend down there we're going to be meeting up with. He's got a freaking beautiful car. It is quick. It goes like 249 miles an hour or so. Anyways, we will be doing that in a little bit. Let's go get this car. Once we decide to leave the car meet, we're going to be meeting up with my friend at his outdoor gun range. I have not been out there yet. But he's telling me that it is really awesome. He set it up like a month ago. So it's a pretty new gun range that he's got. Seriously, you guys, just, just wait till we get there. It's freaking awesome. Anytime you can have property that you just basically can do whatever you want with, it is freaking awesome. Uh, so I think we'll just take the Jeep Gladiator down to Simeon's since we are going to be swapping out vehicles anyways. Oh, man, I, it's been a while since I've driven this beauty. So anyways, like I said, let's get down to Simeon's. Once we leave the gun range, we will be going back to my friend's apartment. Got a few other buddies we're going to be meeting up with. And again, just like we did last night, we're just going to drink, have some fun, and just have a good time. You know, welcome the new year, the new decade. Again, it's 2020. Can you guys believe it? Seriously, time is flying so quick. Let's just gun the Jeep right here. Oh my jeez. Oh, I didn't hit anything. We're good. Holy crap, I forgot how quick this Jeep is. Damn. I should probably put the top down, honestly. It's a little warm in Los Santos today. Oh, damn. Okay, finally got the top down. Took a little longer than I expected. Um, why is she a red blip on my map? That's weird. Oh, look at the cute little doggo. Okay, anyways, let's get on the road here. Uh, that was definitely a green light. You know, we can ignore that, right? But I really, I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. Seriously, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I love hearing from you in the comments. This is our first video of 2020 as well. So, I mean, there's that. You know, hit that like button because it's the first video of 2020. Anyways, we do need to get over to Simeon's and check out that new whip that I'm talking about. I think you guys will enjoy it. If you like the Jeep Gladiator, I, I think you'll like this other vehicle. It's, it's pretty badass. Oh, I gotta say, I really do like having the top down. It is nice having the wind in your hair and just the openness. It's it's really relaxing, honestly. Let's get through this way. Man, I can't wait to get to that gun range, though, and do some nice shooting. I got my new AK out there. Oh, man, I cannot wait to get down to the gun range, though. It is going to be a freaking awesome day of shooting. Going to do some fireworks as well. Ooh, okay, what, why is this guy... Dude, what... Okay, he had a yield sign. Okay, I get it. 
but I really don't know why he was going when we had the green light. Anyways, like I was saying, we're going to be going down to the gun range, shooting some fireworks off. Might do it at his house as well. I'm not sure what he actually wants to do, because it is his property and whatnot. But I think we're going to have some good times down there. All right, come on, man. Get my turn signal on there. Man, I love how the vehicles do work with the turn signals and everything. Uh, this one, eh, it's, it's kind of glitching out on that left side there, but whatever. Let's turn signal. All right, come on, bro. Let's go. I got to get moving. I got things to do today. It is 2020. New year, new me. Uh, that's actually the other thing, too, that, you know, I don't normally do New Year's resolutions, but, you know, you guys have been telling me that I really need to do some RP for a while now. I, you know, I just kept putting it off. So I think what I need to do for my New Year's resolution is actually do some RP. I, I, yeah, I did one RP video a long time ago. But I think that is a really good thing. So let me know if you guys think that's what I should do for New Year's is actually do some RP videos. Just let me know in the comments below for that. Man, this is a long red light. Just like in real life, right boys? All right, come on, it's a green light, let's go. Dude! Come on, dumbass! Really? Okay, let me go. Okay, that was... Nobody saw that. Let's get around this guy. Freaking dick just sitting there. Whoa! Okay, nobody saw that, right? Uh, so what happened there was they had a green light to turn. And I think we had a red light for going straight. Uh, that's the thing in Grand Theft Auto is the traffic lights... They don't have actual arrows, so it's a little confusing. Uh, there is a mod I know of that can actually add the arrows and make the traffic lights look more realistic. I should probably install that, honestly, for the real-life mod and LSPDFR in general, because it just makes things a little more immersive. All right, boys, we are getting to Simeon's now. I'm going to bring my Jeep around the back, and I am going to have my mechanic bring it back to my garage. Uh, we'll just pull it right in here. Simeon doesn't mind. You know, Simeon and I, you know, we're good, close friends, so. I uh, got the duffel bag on with the guns and everything in it. So let's get over here and check out the new truck. Don't mind me, boys. I'm just trying to get a quick selfie with the new truck that I bought. Oh, yeah. That's right, boys. It is a 1972 or 1974 Ford Bronco. Look at this thing. It's got KC highlights, you know, extra lights and all that, or auxiliary lights. Let's put my phone away there. Damn, that truck is massively tall. Holy, those have gotta be 40, 40 inch tires, I'm thinking. Let me, let me see. Can I actually see what size these tires are? Uh, no, you can see they're uh, BF Goodrich, but I can't make out the actual size of the tire. All right, do we have a spear? No, we don't. Damn, though, that truck looks freaking sick. Uh, before we head into Simeon's office, I do want to check out his shop, see what kind... Oh, uh, that is a beautiful looking car. This is actually the car that my friend has. Not the specific one, but, you know, it's not the exact one, but, you know, this is what uh, my friend's going to be racing down at the drag strip. Oh, man, this car is so freaking beautiful. Ooh, I don't know if I'd actually want to buy one, though. What do you guys think? Should I buy the Agera? This car looks so freaking beautiful, but I think this is a little too quick for me. I don't know. We'll see. What are you, let me know what you guys think. Oh, man. This thing is freaking sexy. This is perfect. I mean, the time period, eh, not quite. You know, it's the 20s. It's not the 30s or 40s. I think this is a 38 or something like that. But, damn, that is such a beautiful looking car. Simeon won't mind if I get inside and test it out, will he? Nah, I'm just kidding. He's giving me the keys to everything in here. Oh, I love that horn on this thing. It's a little quiet, though. Let's see. No, that, that, that's quiet. Definitely would need to get an external speaker and have it, like, ten times louder than that. Anyways, let's get this over here. It's got, eh. It's a Toyota FJ. I mean, they're, they're actually pretty decent vehicles. People give them shit. Well, Jeep people give them shit. But, I mean, come on. It... it it's an off-road vehicle, right? You know, just if you can't afford a Jeep, you know. Anyways, we got a Jeep Gladiator right here. Of course, look at this freaking thing. Beautiful, just like mine, except this one's in blue, which the blue actually does look really good. Anyways, he's got a 
It's got a lot of Toyota FJs around here. Interesting. It's Simeon! What's go- Ooh, nobody saw the door fall through the ground there. What's going on, Simeon? Happy New Year, everybody! Happy New Year! It is the 20s. Congratulations. We all are moving back into the 20s. Uh, so, Simeon, yeah, you got the keys for the new truck. I know you got it running, I know, but you, the title and all that good stuff. All right, thank you, Simeon, man. Happy New Year again, man. Seriously, you are a freaking awesome friend. Let's go celebrate the new year, right, man? All right, Simeon, take it easy, man. Have a good cigar on me, man. Have a good cigar. All right, let's go and get this truck freaking out on the dirt and see how this thing does. Look at that freaking axle. That is a massive cap. Anyways, let's get inside it. Let me uh, get inside here. I got to take the duffel bag and set it next to me. All right, let's see. The interior looks freaking awesome. I know the bloominess is a little too bright. That's just one of the texture mods I'm using. But I like the, like, it's like a leather interior. This is pretty classy, I gotta say. It's got the top off, which I do actually have the top for it. I just have it off right now because it is so nice out. So anyways, let's pull out here. And let's carefully bring it out. Oh, what did I hit? Did I scrape it? Uh, you know what? I think we're good. I think just the mirror kind of scraped the edge of the wall there. We should be good. Let's get out on the road here. And let me go see where I want to take this thing off road to. All right, boys. So we are going about a mile and a half away from here. This is uh, just a dirt trail that I want to take this thing on. Which we will, like I said, be going to the my friend's gun range. Which, I mean, we could do some more off-roading then. I just want to test this thing out first before, you know, we actually, you know, start driving and put a lot of miles on it. I want to make sure it's, you know, up to my standards. Man, I gotta say, the front end on this thing looks freaking on point. Let's get it. Uh, come on. Oh, it's a little slow. But, I mean, it's got these massive 40-inch tires. Honestly, these might even be 44-inch tires. These things are really freaking big. I don't even know how big they are, but damn. Ah, uh, we gotta take a left here, all right. Coming through, boys. Oh, I love the truck horn on it. It's freaking awesome. Ugh, all right, boys, just doing some stretches before we go on this trail. Gotta make sure I'm all limber and good to go. So I really do hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's get on this trail here. Oh, check out that suspension work. Oh, look at that. That is nice. It, let's see if we can find some rocks or something that we can flex on. Because I am sus uh, curious about the suspension on this truck. It sounds awesome. You know what? Let me open the hood really quick. All right, boys. I got the hood open. This, like I said, truck is freaking tall. So I had to actually climb up on the bumper to actually get in there. But look at that engine. That thing looks freaking clean. Like, this thing is a complete rebuild. It's a 302 V8. That is freaking sexy. All right, so let's get in. Uh, I got to close the hood. How am I? Give me a second. Let's get on the road, get the hood closed up, and I am ready to move. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yikes. The camera angle's a little sketchy driving, honestly, but it looks freaking awesome. I love the camera angle. It would be nice if it was a little easier to drive. You know, maybe... I could use the uh, Rockstar Editor, I guess, and do it that way. I don't really feel like messing around doing that, though. All right, let's see. There's got to be... Uh, this is a little sketchy, but let's give it a go and try it out. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. I'm gunning it right now, but it actually made it up that, which is actually really surprising. Damn, this may be illegal driving on this trail. Uh, I believe this is a foot trail. No vehicles, except authorized vehicles only. Um, yep, this is definitely the Vinewood side. Should probably start making our way down the mountain. But I, like I said, I want to find something that I can flex on really quick. Let's see. Ooh, there's a helicopter. Yikes. Careful. Damn, this truck handles really nicely. Oh boy, we got a person walking there. What, let's not hit the coyote. That would not be good. Coming through coyote. Man, look at this freaking sexy truck, though. Damn. That is... Oh. That suspension does look really nice. You can even see the shock absorber. 
I'm not really seeing any rocks around here to do. Whoa, why are you slowing down? Jeez. Okay, let's try and gun it around this corner and not die. Oh, man. This truck really sticks to the, the ground. It is just planted. I mean, it, again, these massive tires have a lot of grip. But, okay, let me go look for somewhere to do some flex because I'm not seeing anything around here, so it might take a little bit. Ah, bup, 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 bup. There we go. Beautiful. Got a, you know, we'll go with the small rock first. And let's just pull up on that. Yikes. Ooh, that is some flex right there. Look at that. That is freaking realistic. I got to say, I love when the suspension is actually realistic like that. All right, let's drive over it. Whoa, come on. There we go. Man, this thing has so much freaking ground clearance. Whoa, whoa, nope, come on. Get a little flex there. All right. Beautiful. That one wheel's just spinning. Just gun it. Okay, we're good. Let's get down to the airport. Meet our friend at the car meet. Man, look at all these supercars. Let's try. No, no. Come on, come on. Send it, send it. I'm trying to do a donut, but doesn't seem to want to do it. Come on, come on. Ah, doesn't look like this truck can do donuts. It's kind of sad. I'm gonna need to get some tuning done to it. Maybe slap a supercharger on it, because right now this thing is actually naturally aspirated. All right. Uh, let's see. The meat is over this way, and this is actually my friend right here. Let's park right up here and speak with him. What's going on, Jim? How's it going? Happy New Year's, bro. Shit. Your car is freaking beautiful, dude. Seriously. You want me to race it? What? Uh, I'm a little scared, too. You told me you got it up to 269 miles an hour. I don't know if I really want to drive this thing, honestly. Just do it. 2020 YOLO, just send it. Full send it, YOLO, give me the keys. Let me oh, get in damn. here, bro. All right, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it. Full send. Holy jeez, ho, oh. oh. ho. I don't know if it's gonna actually let me drive it. I don't have enough money. Okay, it's not gonna let us do it this way, so I will, uh, whoa boy, we're getting texture loss. Come on, send it, send it. We'll just, we'll just not even rev it we'll wait till she shoots the flare and we'll just full send it come on baby 2020 let's go full send okay it doesn't look like she's gonna send it so i'll just back up a little bit and then she's got to send it right man the freaking front end on this car is so sexy i know we used this car in an episode a few days ago but still this thing is freaking beautiful Actually, it might have been yesterday's. <laughs> Come on, send it. Let's go. All right, so this mod might be glitched out. So you know what? We'll just send this car down the runway, see how fast we get it up to. And let's we'll rev it up. We'll rev it to 7,000 RPM. Send it. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. First person, baby. Holy crap. OK, I can't even see the gauge. 204 okay i need to stop yikes no brakes no brakes at all yikes no oh nobody saw that right we definitely do not want to go back to our friend after we crashed his car what am i kidding this is grand theft auto let's just repair it and let's send it down the racetrack once again oh boy there we go holy crap 130 150 170 180 190 222 Okay, 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 245, that, that's, yep, okay, okay, stop, there we go, that time we did a good stop, oh boy, holy crap, this car is just insane, four-wheel drive donut, well, all-wheel drive, technically, damn, this car is so freaking badass, all right, I think that's enough racing this car today, let's see, no, it's not gonna let us use the truck either, Basically, if you guys don't know, with this mod, you have to play as a single-player character. And right now, I'm playing as an EUP or the LSPDFR character, which is technically a multiplayer character, just to get technical. I'd have to go to my single-player character, which I'm not even going to do because this car, they're not even going to let us race it because it's so highly modified. 
Jim, I will see you at your gun range. Your car is so freaking sexy. It is fast. Love the carbon fiber look. What do you think of my new Bronco, by the way? You know, 2020, why not buy a new truck, right? Yeah, you like it? Sweet. Anyways, let's get over to the gun range now. I want to go shoot some new guns. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope. Maybe in the dirt. Maybe it'll let us uh, do a donut. Let's see. Come on, come on. There we go. Send it. Oh, my. That's disappointing. It's because these tires are so massive. It just doesn't have enough power to send it around. Nope. Like I said, need to get some tunes done to this, maybe get a supercharger slapped on, and then it'll be good to do some donuts. But anyways, whatever, let's go to the gun range. Thank you. I really do hope you guys are having a great new year so far. Seriously, let's try to make 2020 the best year yet for everybody. So like, I, you know, like you gotta be, just be cool, you know, try to be friends with everybody. If they're a dick to you, don't even talk to them. You know what I mean, guys? So let's just try to make 2020 a great year and just keep moving forward. You know what I mean, guys? So anyways, we are coming up to my friend's property now. Uh, let's see. Where is he? Oh, there's his car. He beat us here. Of course he did. His car is freaking fast. Let's see. Anybody else here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, it looks like we're the only ones here at the moment. Got a nice tractor there, too. He told me he bought this property a few months back. And that he was building this gun range. What's going on, man? Got a nice AK there. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let me grab my guns from the truck. Give me a second here. Let's see. What do we got? All right, boys. I decided to start with the long-range weapon. Got this new sniper rifle. It's a 338 Lapua Magnum with explosive rounds. Uh, let's zoom in there. Oh, man. This scope goes really long, doesn't it? Oh! Ooh, okay, you know what? That was pretty freaking badass, but I think that I think that's enough with that one. It's a little little too much. Uh let let's let's get down here. Oh just gonna leave the truck back here. Man, that's so freaking sexy looking. Alright, let's uh let's start with this new AK I picked up as well. That's right, it's a gold AK. This thing is freaking sexy. Let's get over here. Alright, Jim, what are we doing, man? You gonna start shooting or what? You're just practicing your aim. I got you. Dry firing and all that good stuff. Oh damn! Ooh. You good, Jim? Oh man, this is a freaking beautiful AK. Let's see. Let's try and. Oh my god! And one more mag or uh, one more round. I don't know what I'm, I'm saying. Reloaded. There we go. Okay, just wanted to finish that mag off. And let's uh see. Let's go to the MP5. Let's test this thing out. Test my aim. Looks pretty decent. Yeah, it's pretty good aim, I think. I'm reloading. Reload. Let's test out. Of course, we gotta use the Gusenberg because it's the 20s after all, right? Uh, even though this would have been technically the 30s, I believe. Anyways, I'm a little tired now. So let's just start lighting these things up. Oh, yeah. Got the Extendo Magazino cuz on this thing. Even though it's technically a drum. It, but, whoops, I need to reload and light up this target. Freaking sexy. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful. All right, I think that's enough of that. Let's uh, switch down to my 1911. This thing is a freaking beautiful weapon. Stop. Ooh, nice. I do have Extendo Magazino cuz on this one as well because it's always nice to have more rounds to shoot down range. I think that guy is dead. All right, man, we have been shooting all day. I honestly have no idea what pistol this is. It says ceramic pistol. So we'll see how it shoots. Sounds interesting. Seems pretty damn accurate too. Oh my god. And it's got it's got a pretty good magazine size too. 12 rounds. That's not bad. I really do not know what pistol this is. Let's see, we got the double action. We also have the navy revolver which 
it literally just looks like it was thrown in water for like a hundred years and it's just completely rusted away i'm gonna pull the trigger the whole thing's gonna blow up in my face let's see how it is oh it sounds nice and i like the cocking revolver action that's pretty nice did i did i hit that okay that i hit let's see this one again okay i hit that okay Let's see how it reloads. Oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah, again, I guess they just added these two new guns recently with the last update or so. Uh, I think that's good. You know what? Why not take out the Desert Eagle one more time? This thing is freaking sexy. Oh, yes. That 50 AE. Damn. All right. I think I am done, Jim. Uh, I'm going to head out. I'm going to meet you at your house, right? Just gonna head over there right now. Is that good, man? Everything's good to go. All right, sweet. Uh, what time is the actual party gonna start? Whoa. About nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Okay, it's a little late for me. We'll, well, we'll start drinking early, I guess. Right, man? Uh, Jim, take it easy, bro. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yes. Open. Fu Come on, Jim. Come on. Do it again. Do, do it again. Come on. Come on, Jim. Come on. You got this. I will see Jim over at his apartment. He's got a pretty nice setup, so I hope you guys really are enjoying this episode so far. And again, I hope you have a great New Year's. Seriously, just try to live life to the fullest, you know what I mean? It's 2020, New Year's resolutions and all that. It's a new decade, boys. It is a new decade, so let's send it. And let's just see what... Well, let's just let's see what happens, I guess. Oh, full send. Whoa. It jackknifed that time. Okay, let's... Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a little underwhelming. Again, I need to get a supercharger on this thing. It'll be so sexy once I get a supercharger on it. But again, like I said, these wheels are freaking, or the tires are massive. Let's, uh, on the way to his house, let's see, let's try it right here and see. Oh man, look at that. Okay, full send it. Oh boy, damn. Did it no problem. That is freaking awesome. All right, we actually got to go the other direction, my bad. Took the wrong way. Should probably get my GPS on. Okay, I got the GPS on now, so let's get around these cars. And I will see you guys once we get to his house. We're about four and a half miles from the location. So I will see you guys at Jim's house. This has turned out to be a really good New Year so far. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode. Seriously, hit that like button if you do enjoy it. And maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. Anyways, we are at Jim's house now. So let's get upstairs and go check out his apartment. Uh, basically, he said the party was going to start at about 9 o'clock, I believe he said. It's a little early right now. So we are the first ones here. It's just me and him. Uh, Jim, where are you at, man? You know, that's a really loud train. That's... It's kind of annoying, honestly. I don't know how he does it. Okay. Yeah, the train yard is literally, or the train tracks are literally right in his backyard. That is annoying. Let's see. Can we go through this door? Oh. Okay. Nice bathroom. It looks like he's still moving into the place. It's got packages and boxes and all that all over the place. Again, actually, all the mods that I'm using in this episode will be in the description of the video. So if you want to check them out, Check them out in the description down below. Let's get up here, check out his bedroom. That is a really cool seat. <laughs> Man, this is a nice house. I would live here. It's cool. I love the loft feel. Like just your bed just overlooks your entire apartment. That is really cool, actually. I like that. Alright, anyways, let's get down here and let's see. He's got some coffee. You know, maybe I'll grab that. Oh that's a lot of wine. Oh, man, how many people did he invite? Let's see, he's got a few glasses. I mean, I guess we're having like eight people over or so, but oh, that's some good looking whiskey right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's got a freaking fridge full of beer. Are you? That is freaking, freaking badass. And he's got a neon sign. I love this apartment so far. Man, I, I should just freaking move in here. Like, kick him out and move in myself. This is a really freaking awesome setup. You know what? Never mind. I forgot. Those train tracks, those are way too loud. I won't be able to sleep like that. Man, I like this view, though. That is that is really nice looking. Jim, what? No. Oh, t you're outside. Grilling. Okay, man. My bad. I couldn't hear you over the train tracks before. 
Get out of freaking hot tub too. Oh man, that is freaking badass. You got cupcakes out here? What the? I think those are muffins, but I would like some cupcakes. Man, so yeah, we got a little bit of time to start drinking, I guess, okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed this one. This was, again, the first episode of 2020. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure you hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos do go up. And again, one more time, I am running a giveaway on my Discord server. So if you want to win a free t-shirt, check that out in the description of the video and follow the rules. Have a great day, guys, and Happy New Year! It is the 20s, boys! Woo! Yeah, let's party!